Hey guys and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I decided to do a trying new makeup um, using um, products that I just recently purchased. Some of the products are not new but just like a few are new but I just wanted to share you guys and just try out them out, see how good they are and just create a kind of look with it, you know? Those of you who don't know me, my name is Talia Reyes and welcome to my channel. You guys are always welcome and I'm glad you guys are a part of this video with me. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Just hit that red button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos of mine. And let's just get started. I just want to mention that I already got my eyebrows done and um, prime my lid off camera like usual we're gonna start off with the eyes first so we're gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette they're all matte and all naked so this is what the package looks like it's very beautiful kind of like a rose gold package palette um, when you open it you get all these beautiful shapes right here and it also comes with a mirror which is really handy and it also comes with a brush as well might use it you know you never know it comes with like three nudes a very light shade i think this is more like you can use transition or something then you got purple cool tones dark and then you got a black shadow gray shadow and two brownish and like an orange tone shade you know I'm excited to play with this palette just to see what kind of look I can create with this and we're just gonna start off with the eyes first so I'm just gonna get closer that way I can show you guys what I'm doing to the shadow what shades I'm applying how am I applying just to give you a little idea I'm gonna be taking a tape and I'm actually going to apply it first shade I'm going to be taking is nudie which is this shade right here and I'm gonna be taking my elf bending blush blending blush blending brush and I'm just gonna apply this as my transition shade and I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid We'll see like as transition shade you're trying to achieve. Next, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild uh, Fluffy Brush. And the shade I'm going to be taking is um, Extra Bitter, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply this like in my upper um, crease, like in my top of my, what I, where I apply my transition shade. Taking Faith, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to take the same brush from the e.l.f. And I'm actually going to apply it like kind of like in the under my lid just to get that kind of like shade so I'm going to be taking a uh, lethal which is kind of more like a dark purple shade which is this one right here and I'm just going to be taking my Anastasia brush and I'm actually going to apply it like basically like in my whole lid just to like kind of get it in I feel like the purple shade was kind of like hard to like apply it for some reason like it's hard to blend it in and it doesn't even look like a purple shade so I'm actually going to spray the brush and I'm actually going to take blow which it has kind of like a little shimmer which is this shade right here and i'm hoping this works out for me because if it doesn't then i'm stuck with kind of like dark shades mm, 
so this one turned out okay it's just not the color I was expecting to get um, I'm just gonna take the purple shade and I'm actually just going to like blend everything and with faith and I'm actually like going to like blend the harsh lines I got it on sale for $21, but I feel like it's not so bad for that kind of retail price. And then I'm just going to apply um, blow on bottom of my brow bow just to like highlight the points of it because it needs kind of like love and shade, you know. Now that I'm done with the shadow, I'm just going to put clips on my hair, that way we can start with the foundation. Already apply skincare and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be going in with Too Faced Hangover Primer. Honestly, at the palette, there was not much fallout, which is really awesome. Um, I feel like it's like one of the best signs, even though the shades were not what I was expecting. Um, the purple shade, I was kind of like struggling to get it in, but that's okay. For foundation, I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced foundation. And this is actually my first time trying this foundation. This one is the shade Almond. So I'm hoping it's the right shade because I did try it at the store and it was the right shade. I do have yellow undertones, so I'm hoping... It goes well on my skin so I'm just gonna apply foundation uh, like on my hand and I'm actually going to apply it um, like dots all over my face I feel like this might be the perfect match for my skin I'm gonna be taking my real technique uh, sponge and I'm just gonna tap all over my face yep I feel like this is going to be the perfect match Ooh, it does matches Wow I am shocked and it blends super well I'm trying to be careful with my shadow really like it for 39 bucks it's not so bad um I love the shade though it matches super well the camera it looks kind of like weird but it does like matches my whole neck which is really good not like try to blend it with my what I noticed is that when I apply my foundation it creases crazy underneath my eyes so I feel like it's just like a thing that I have on my skin so it's just there's never a good moment but honestly I love how it's sitting on my face I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this one is the Sherry Fair Beige and I'm just gonna like apply it I do want to get the uh, Too Faced Concealer I heard good things about it and I'm just really excited to try that out gonna apply some like on my nose on my chin and on my forehead as just gonna blend oh I have a headache right now I'm not feeling well and then just gonna try to blend the under eyes To set my under eyes, I'm going to be taking my Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder 
and this is actually new so I'm super excited to see how good this is um, but I'm not so sure if this is like the travel size I'm still kind of like confused about it um, ooh. you have to be careful because it's a little bit messy um, I just hate powders when they're so messy so I'm just gonna take my my real technique sponge and I'm just gonna like set my under eyes before they crease like crazy because normally that's like always happening just gonna apply this make sure you look up um, I feel like that kind of like helps when you're setting your eyes your nose as well um, your chin and then your forehead as well I'm just gonna like dust everything out so for the face I'm going to be taking my Smashbox and I'm going to contour with um, this shade right here and I'm going to be taking my wet and wild brush I'm just gonna like contour like the forehead as well just to give that little something bronze you know in the face and the jawline as well because it's just you're taking my Tarte bronzer and this one is Hotel Harness the new blush that I just repurchased is this feisty um, Tarte blush this one is um, Amazon a clay 12 hours of blush this blush is very pretty and I'm just going to apply this all over my cheekbones because you know how it goes. Eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Eyeliner and this one I do need a mirror because I always messed up with eyeliner so it's an okay eyeliner not the best I can do but just gonna do the other side as well And then for mascara, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going to go back in with the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Palette. I'm going to be taking um, Instant, which is this light purple shade. And I'm actually going to apply it in my bottom blush line. And then make sure you connect it like with your eyeliner. That way it can be like all in together. Taking this dark purple shade and I'm actually going to apply this in my outer corner just to like smoke it out a little bit i'm just gonna go in with extra bitter and i'm actually going to apply this in my bottom lash line just to like highlight a little bit go in back with the Too Faced mascara and i'm actually going to apply um mascara on my bottom lashes and whatever's on this brush, I'm just going to apply it on my nose. I'm not very good at 
like contouring my nose um, but I do try like my best at it and I just want it to be like very like bronzy we're still in the summer to set my whole face I'm going to be using my Mac prep and prime setting spray And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sun Dip. And the shade I'm going to be using is, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply it and just highlight the points of it. It's a pretty color. And I'm just going to apply it on my tip of my nose down the bridge my cupid's pole using the girl at tech beauty matte lip paint this one is the shade jimmer i don't know how to pronounce that so this is the final look of this um i it was pretty easy honestly um less makeup as i can say there were just four products that i pur recently purchased and i just wanted to share with you guys but i really love how this look turned out the eyeshadow palette was like okay there was too much mattes but not too much shimmers i kind of like both like half matte and half shimmer that way you can create so many looks but i really like it honestly i like how the shadow turned out um at first i was kind of like really upset but that's okay like i really don't mind i hope you guys enjoy my video please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye guys